hi welcome back my little hymens today we're gonna be talking about black fishing on tiktok every single day on twitter i see somebody trending every single day for looking like this the only thing that i picked up from that is a lot of you just don't have good friends <laughs> If I have one uneven brow, or even if I overline my lips for one second and I walked out of the house, by the time I touched the main door handle of my house, my mom's made fun of me, my dad would make a hate page about me. People are just really honest here, I guess. They, they would literally tell me your makeup please fix it, come back, like, you know, it's, it's don't step out of the house looking like that. But if you walk out of the house like this, you're having lunch, dinner, whatever, brunch, and not one person has been like, hi, that just doesn't sit well with us. Appetizers, they're canceled, go, go back. Fix it, come back. Like one person could have stopped her and told her that. I don't know. Okay, so moving on, let's let's dive into it, shall we? And also we're gonna be rating these black fished pictures. Is it fished? A minus hundred maybe or a two out of ten maybe. I really took my time with this artwork. I even have one that says death penalty. I put a lot of effort into this. Okay, it's been a minute since I've played with art and craft. And over here I have a sad face, and that hair is of my bunny. I plucked it out of my bunny's butt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It fell out of my bunny's butt, okay? So I just thought of using it as an artwork and plastered all over this board. Thank you, bunny. We appreciate the charity. I asked a lot of you to send me pictures. Like, what do you think is black fishing? It's like a bad tan. What do you think is just over the line? Like, whatever you think, send it over. And there are some that I picked from TikTok and a bunch of other, like, Twitter viral tweets. So let's just get into it. The so first thing, it's me. And this dumb Like, Let's just talk about her, all right? So what this this is the first picture that i we took when i first met her sweetie be looking like casper this is just like bad makeup it's flash photography i made a whole video on how to avoid flashback okay i made a whole video on that it's really good the secret is that people who have zinc oxide and i like titanium i think in their makeup and mixed with sunscreen gives you this result a lot of pictures that you sent me they're kind of in the same storyline like this is bad makeup she just looks oily no clue on why somebody sent this to me and they're like it's a bad tan it's it's just bad makeup. This is a joke. Also, are those Solatica blue lenses? <laughs> We're sharing. We're wearing the same lenses, guys. By the way, I'm just kidding. Everyone keeps asking me if my eyes are real. They are. I get it from my mom's side, and I think it's the same thing with her. I think she gets her eyes from my mom, too. But I don't know where she gets the fucking tan from because her baby looks white. So we're going to give her... I don't know what to give you. I don't want to give you this. I'm, I'm sure your baby drops one of these every day. So let's not give her this. Let's give her no rights. Just plain old no rights, all right? This is so sad. As horrible as it sounds, because if I'm taking a picture like this, I would tan up my baby too. Just so that I don't get shredded in the comments. I get shredded anyway and I, my skin's all nice. And if I post a picture like this, people would lose it. Your baby's right there. Your before picture is right there. We can, we can literally tell how you used to look and what your skin looks like. Wow, she's brought it up all the way to her chest. What else? It's not in her hands much. It's kind of rubbed off. I've heard that tan, they don't stay, stick in your hands a lot. Wow, she's brought it up all the way to her roots. Girl wants to really be dark. She's got it all the way to her roots. Okay, moving on. Um, no, we're not moving on. We're gonna skip this one and move on to the next. But again, I would stick with no lights. Next. <laughs> I hate some of y'all. What if you actually sent me this when I asked you pictures about black fishing? Okay, we're gonna give him this. <laughs> moving on. I can stand her. I'm sorry, but no, the only makeup artist or makeup guru, whatever you want to call her, the only makeup guru that I can stand. She is literally one day this and one day this. Choose, like, pick one. When people go like, this is black fishing, I'm like, no. What black person do you know who looks like this? It's fucking orange fishing. Cheeto dust fishing. It's so ugly. And I'm like, nobody walks like this. It's such an embarrassment when people go like, oh, she's trying to be black. She's trying to be a person of color. She's not trying to be a person of color. No one wants to be this color. This is not a fucking tan. I think before she goes out, she's like, hmm, I have a bunch of skins to wear today. Do I take medium? Pressing on a switch, like, okay, um, let me see what skin I can try today. Mm, I don't like this. Uh, no. I don't feel like looking black today. Can I look brown today? No. You know what? I'll go with my white skin today. I'm just gonna take that and just put it all over my body. And this is me. I feel like this is exactly what happens behind closed doors in our closet and we don't know of that, you know? How are you two different 
skins, two different extreme skins. This is Mac NC20 and this is Mac NC55 on a good day. So cannot understand. Now, I learned the term black fishing because of her. So she's apparently Swedish. She looks like this sometimes. And there were a lot of people accusing her of, you know, curling her hair and, you know, wearing her makeup like that, the tan and just overall looking not even close to fucking white, which she is. So I think somebody asked her like, hey, why do you look different? Like, aren't you like Swedish, whatever? And then she's like, yeah, I am, but I also tan. Okay, honestly, when I saw this, I was like, it's just a tan. People need to relax. Like, it's it's just a tan. I think she's just golden, whatever. It's just, it's just a tan. I'm like, it's, it's okay, it's fine. And then I saw this picture. She's not white. Not even what, what, what. So I'm sorry, I have to give you a minus 100 with my big bunny butt hair on it. And then I did some little book digging and I found out that she had a collaboration with a makeup brand where she was selling highlighter. Like, let me show you the shadow. The color was this. Something I can wear, something gold and like olive, a little bit of deep golden tones. This is my highlighter for my face. And she made that and she sold it with a brand. Uh, this is what I mean. And then I started seeing what people were seeing. It's she stole opportunities that could be handed to actual black people. And she took it and ran with it. This <laughs> destroyed me. That is my shade. I can't find my foundation shade ever. My hands are different than my face, my face, my neck, my chest. They, they don't match. So it's so hard for me to match my foundation. And it's so much pressure for people who are tan to really get their foundation to be right. Can I say honestly to this day, I have never found one foundation bottle that matches me in like one swatch. So I haven't found really my perfect foundation yet. Even Fenty, it's still good, but I have to wait for it to oxidize and whatnot. And it just gets me so mad because there are like white people getting white foundations and her picking up my foundation. So I'm literally left with nothing. That irks me because, oh, I, I don't even get foundations from here anymore. I've stopped purchasing foundations. I just order them online because a lot of times uh, other countries have my shade and I just stop buying it in local stores because they don't they don't carry anything. Yeah, I know, I know, it's not, it doesn't look good, babes. I'm gonna stick in with my rabbit butt hair and the minus 100 right here. I don't wanna judge her yet because she's just in the process of her makeup. This isn't the finished result, but this is just not looking good. I just want to say that. And then I think she posted this to show, hey, this is how my hair naturally looks after washing it. And then she posted a picture of her dad and her brother to show that they tan very easily, wear tan. But but in my opinion, I think it's more than just being tan. I think she really knows what she's doing. It's just, you're not just getting tan. I mean, no one's mad that you're tan. This picture, this is just no, no. Okay, let's talk about this. <laughs> No, let's not. Let's move on. Hold on, I actually saw somebody tweet under this saying fixed it. <laughs> and they copied the same color she had on her face and just spread the same color all over her body. Oh, I love the internet. Okay, moving on. Hmm. This is just too orange, like too much of a Cheeto dust, kind of. I I would give this a two out of 10. It's not black fishing in this specific picture. I mean, she's done pretty worse things, but I'm just saying for this picture, a two out of 10 for just being really fucking orange. So I saw this picture on the right side with like uh, Haley's thighs with my own eyes. Now Haley isn't my favorite person, but here's the thing. If that's how she actually tans, you can be mad at somebody if they tan that much. Now, for example, I look extremely light in some pictures or videos and I look extremely tan in some of my old pictures, especially. And and that's because I used to go to school. I used to be extremely tan, like really, really dark. I used to take the metro. I used to be out 24 seven. For PE and for recess, we used to be like outside eating. So I used to be really dark. And now since I work at home, I don't go out that much. I'm at home working, editing. I do everything at home. I'm not that dark as I used to be. So I'm not using fake tan. It's just how my body is. Now, I don't know if she used something on her body, but it looks like she didn't. It's just, she just got dark, I think. I don't know. So I don't, I don't want to like shit on her yet, but let me know what you think. I'm not going to like shit on somebody if i don't know the whole truth but i'm gonna go with what do we go with i'm just gonna go with this explosive diarrhea but with love moving on we have oh we're just gonna give her this without the love oh i know this beauty girl i used to watch her this was bad <laughs> this was this went viral too guys every day on twitter we see somebody going viral over this i don't know what to say bro it's not even good why are you doing that it's just so orange she could have gone a little bit just a little darker not this is way too much this is bad i'm gonna give her no rights. This is bad. <laughs> this is just a bad tan. I let's give her a soft minus three. Okay, so this picture again, I've seen this floating around on Insta so much. This should be on the museum to a point that everyone has seen this. It should it should fucking replace Mona Lisa. Yeah, I said it. I've also heard that the right picture is overly photoshopped to make her look bad. I hate when witches do that. Like, you want to do a before and after picture of somebody? Do it. No one's stopping you. But can we like not tweak? the before picture to make them look bad. She she does go over with her tan, so I'm gonna give her a minus three.
three. But a soft, loving minus three because I like her. Moving on. Oh! Oh my god, no. We're gonna give you my rabbit's butt hair. Mm. I'm gonna give her a minus three for the foundation, but then I'm gonna give it a minus 100, so it's a minus 100, 300. You're kidding. Those eyebrows look like those black bars you see in crosswalks. Those aren't eyebrows. Those are eye pedestrians. I have nothing to tell you, so we're gonna just give you death penalty. Okay, so I wanna say the right one with the blue top, she's okay. She gets like a free pass. I think that's just a good tan. You know, it's all over her thighs. You can see through jeans. I don't think that's black fishing, but this one is scary. She looks scary from her roots to her toenail. It's whoop, one color. So we have to give her the sad death penalty. Oh, I remember this post going viral on Twitter. So people were like, she looks like a Doberman because of her legs. This isn't black fishing, it's dog fishing. Death penalty for just the legs. I would give you a two out of 10 for that hair. I really like her hair. How does she get those fluffy waves? I've been trying to get that forever and I cannot succeed. So two out of 10 for the hair. Minus three for staining her white couch with her shitty, terrible tan job. You know what, overall I'll give you just a big fat old death penalty. Death penalty. <laughs> the comments kill me. <laughs> Doberman feet with pedicure. <laughs> but looking at her profile now, I feel she's changed. Uh, but yeah, she is back to her normal skin. I'm happy to see this. I'm happy to see growth. Look at the comments. It's okay, guys. It's not blackface. It's black body. <laughs> oh my god. This isn't blackfishing, guys. Somebody sent this to me, so we're just gonna give her a very soft but a lovable minus three. Oh, this is a big old no rights, all right. Like no in rights usually no rights but the hard work she went through to fit in the tans inside her boots let's look at the comments this is disgusting where are those boobs from and if you block me because you're literally a nobody love you where is the skin complexion from <laughs> it's from pretty little thing okay moving on people she said white privilege from face up but I want to still be black from face down. A lot of UK folks look like that. Why? I'm gonna give her a, not, not a no rights. So I'll give her a minus three. This will get my bunnies fat hair from the butt cheeks. Oh, this is straight up no rights, baby girl. You don't, you have no rights. No, no, no. That hairline, no effort whatsoever. This is London. You can, this smells London. If you want to see what London looks like, it's not this, it's this. If you're from London, let me know. Do you see people like this walk around with bad tan and just like walking Cheeto dust, let me know. I wanted London to be my next vacation spot. I might wanna dress up like this just to blend in, you know? Okay, this is gonna be very controversial. So Addison Ray. I, I don't like this picture because people have, you know, carefully chosen a very, very light picture of her. I don't think she looks like this right now. In my opinion, she looks tan, but not this white. And then they've obviously picked up this picture to criticize like, hey, she looks really tan, like what are you doing? I don't think this is black fishing. She's not trying to be a black person or steal black culture or appropriate their culture in any way, shape or form. But I do see that it's a filter or tan that's, that's just awful. It just looks horrible. And I think whoever's doing her makeup is the Kardashian, Kardashian's makeup artist and you know how the whole family works. They probably hired somebody. I got my makeup done by somebody who was brown. And you know, in the brown culture, we prefer white skin, light skin. She did my makeup. As I expected, she made me a little bit light and really, really white. And you could tell from the side that it didn't match my whole body and face and I just looked really, really ashy. But then I had to like, you know, be like, oh my God, I love it, what the f this is so cute, oh my God, stop. I had to take a picture and pretend all like it was perfect. And then she asked me to post it on my Facebook and I did. And then, yeah, you know, I had to be like, oh my God, check her out, she's amazing. I had to do all of that. I had to pretend and tag the makeup artist and, you know, credit her and, you know, thank her for this beautiful work. It was so off, it was such a bad makeup job. And she, she's pretty much stuck in this little bubble where she really can't stand up and speak for herself. I've heard that she's BFFs with the Kardashians now, so there is no way she can stand up and be like, listen, I hate this makeup so you know what she's just, you know zipped up minus 100 wow even the black undies match patrick but yeah this is all i picked up for this week i'm gonna ask you guys again to send me some more bad black fishing pictures you've seen bad tan pictures you've seen but also guys it's not official yet but i'm gonna be doing a podcast where i'm just gonna be talking about life love orgasms sex relationships everything money i make finances people have been assholes to me i've been to people everything so i'm gonna link it below you can subscribe right now it's called antsy wapsy i'm gonna put it right here so you can go click and watch I'm not sure when i'm gonna start with my first episode but it's gonna be very soon i'm so excited for this i've been planning to do a podcast since last year and i never got to it but i finally did yeah go ahead subscribe to antsy rancy on youtube so you'll be notified as soon as i make my first episode but yeah thank you so much for watching follow my insta it's antsy twinkle subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video No rights.